Let's make a simple part using the things that you've learned. We'll make a flat plate with a hole in it. So we'll start with a cube that will be five by five by one. And now I want to put a hole right in the middle. So a hole is a cylinder, so I'll create a cylinder. And I think I want its radius to be one and its height should be the same as the cube. So there's my cylinder. Um, but I want to move that into the very middle. So let me think about how I want to translate it. Looking down here, uh, I think I want to translate it. It's Let's see, the whole length is five. So if I want to translate it halfway, that's two and a half. So I'll translate it two and a half down X, two and a half down Y. And I don't want it to go up or down at all. So I won't translate it in Z. So under a cylinder, before I'll say translate. And I want to translate it by two and a half and oops, two and a half and zero. Let's look. Hmm, I can't tell if it worked or not because it's inside the cube now. So let's use that trick that I showed you last time. If you put an exclamation mark, that displays only the thing after the exclamation mark. So that looks like it went in the right place. Um, in order to cut the hole out, I need to do the difference operation. So let's say difference between the cube and this translated cylinder. And there's my beautiful hole. How nice. Um, if we wanted to make this bigger, we could make it a 6x6 six six cube. But my hole didn't move. So I'll want to translate it by 3 and 3 so that it's centered again. And there's the hole in the middle. All right, so let's look next time at how to do uh, a few fancier things that will make it easier to construct more complex objects. Okay, last time I showed you how to make this plate with a hole in it. Um, right now, let's look at how to rotate objects and then how you can name complex objects so that you can put together combinations of your simpler objects. Uh, so first, the word module is a way to, uh, let's call this plate. So if I say module plate with some parentheses here and then an opening brace, that's saying that all of the shapes that I'm defining between this opening brace and that closing brace, all of these shapes, we're going to refer to those by the single name plate. Um, so if I try to render this now, oh, well, that's okay. So now this section defines what a plate is, but it doesn't actually draw the plate. Here when I say plate, that is using the definition. So I'm saying draw a plate there. So when I render it, it looks exactly the same. But if I wanted to say translate it, um, how should I translate it? I'm going to translate it by negative 3, negative 3, 0. So if I translate it negatively on the x direction, that's this way, negatively in the y direction, that's this way, it should end up with this hole centered right there. So let's try it. All right, so there we are. Um, the hole has ended up in the middle because I translated it uh, negative 3 in the x, negative 3 in the y, and 0 in the z. Okay, let's take a look at rotating now. So if I want to rotate it along the x-axis, you imagine this x-axis right here is a skewer that goes right through it. And so if it rotates, this side is going to come around this way. Um, I don't just have to gesture awkwardly awkwardly with the mouse though, I can actually show you. So you say rotate, and the thing that you want to rotate, you can put in curly braces like that. But then you have to tell it what angle you want to rotate it by. So you use A, and it's in degrees. So I'm going to say I want to rotate it by 90 degrees. And then you give it the vector that you want it to rotate around as an axis. So a vector, don't get scared, vector is just three numbers here and it will tell you the x direction and the y direction and the z direction for where you want it to be rotating around. So I want it to just rotate straight around this x-axis here. So I'm gonna give it one, zero, zero. That means point this direction by unit of one and zero in the y and zero in the z. So I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees around a vector that's just pointing one in this direction. Let's see what it looks like. Great. Um, 
I could rotate it 45 degrees around that same vector, and that's what it looks like. Let's make it go back to zero. Okay, what if I wanted to rotate it around the Y axis here? Let's do that. So instead of zero, zero, uh, 1, 0, 0, I'll do 0, 1, 0, because this is X and Y and Z. So I'm going to rotate it by 90 degrees, and that's what it looks like. So again, here I rotate, this was the skewer right here, this Y axis, and I flipped it around. I could do the same thing for the Z axis. Where did it go? There it is. Hmm, it looks just the same. But that makes sense because if this Z axis is the skewer and I rotate it 90 degrees, this corner will rotate around to that corner. So let's try it by 45 degrees. And now you see that it's rotated 45 degrees around that Z axis. Okay. So we've made a module that's the plate. We've learned how to rotate it. Let me show you how to make your module more flexible. Uh, what if we wanted to make this, oops, let's just draw the plate normally again. Let's say I wanted to make this twice as large. If I wanted to make it twice as large, what would I have to change? I need to change this to 12 and this is to 12 because that's the X, the width and the height, uh, sorry, the width and the length of this plate. Uh, I'm not going to make any thicker, I'll just keep it that thickness. If I do that, that's pretty good, except I didn't keep the hole in the center. So the hole I also need to translate to exactly half of the length and half of the width. And if I render it again, okay, now the hole's in the center. Well, that was a lot of changing. It would be nice if, when I had the plate command here, I could tell it I want it to be a width of sixth, a length of six and with a thickness of one and it would just draw the plate the right way these are like inputs to the plate command so since this module plate is where I'm defining what a plate is I can have it accept some inputs um, so I'll have the first one be called length the second called width and the third called thickness now what happens is when I say plate 661 this first six gets copied into length this second six gets copied into width. This third one gets copied into thickness. And now I can use these words like variables. So I want my cube not to be 12, but I want it to be length, whatever number got copied up here. So I'm going to have it be a length of length, a width of width, and a thickness of thickness. Now, when I translate my cylinder, that's the hole, I want it to translate exactly half of the length in the x direction, half of the width in the y direction. So here I can say length divided by 2 and width divided by 2. I still don't want it to go up or down at all. And everything else looks good. So when I display it, now plate 661 makes a plate that's 6 by 6 by 1. If I make it 10 by 6 by 1, See, now it's longer and the hole has remained centered. I could make it 10 by 10 by 1, still centered. I could make it half as thick if I wanted to. So this is a much more flexible command. Um, in the next session, we'll show you how to use this new flexible module to create, uh, uh, together with rotations, to create another more complex module to make a right angle bracket.